Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with Crummit. Greetings, Hi. Crummit. <laughs> and uh, we are on a new layout, brand new start today. So we have um, just laid track out to the sawmill and the logging camp. Uh, moved Betsy over, bought a couple of cars here and getting ready to hook those up and get the whole empire build underway so with that again greetings crumbit crumbit will be running the locomotive today so that's cool nice i said let's do this thing or attempt to do this thing i don't know this is first run for everything no tests no anything else so we'll just have to see what happens right who knows could work maybe it didn't work this layout the um theory is really going to be um uh, you know everything else we've always kind of restricted to three percent um this one is going to be kind of no holds barred or whatever we get i think um you'll have to go forward so we'll get them in order so yeah i don't think you can hook up the yellow one sorry man in fact yeah we're good we're gonna use this cheater rail thing that I put in over here and see how well that works. <clears throat> uh oh. I forgot to take the brakes off. I don't think this works with the brakes on. So that means I'll have to pick it up again. There we go. Alright, so I am just gonna link and pin the fronts. If that makes sense. Okay. That way, it's all just one direction. Though. They can run right into each other. Hopefully, everything works. I don't know. You know. First test. One never knows. There we go. Whoa. All right. We are going to keep the uh, original purchase... Uh, flat car in use this time I know people wonder because I always get asked that I do tend to use it off of the bat at least until you know got enough stuff that I don't need it but I don't see the point in not using it off the bat I know some people like to save it um, that's definitely one of the cars we left that in the save file for sure when we gave it away it was with the with those so or with that car kept that oh did i pin and link this i totally forgot yep sure did Woo -hoo, did it right all right there we go all the cars are on the move so we did just kind of go with the original trident for the you know new track area but that's because quite frankly i like to move the cars over like this so i don't ever really use the new track um, line anyway so it's not a not really much of a thing so we'll grab that there and then these just kind of keep creeping towards so it's just kind of a nice easy way to gather up a train as far as I'm concerned much easier than going forward and backwards and all that stuff and I guess I'm not too worried about the whole immersion side of the thing at this point so I, uh, it is a cheater rail, but I do certainly use it, especially when you're, if you're, uh, putting together a train single player, this is a pretty handy way to do it, but, all right, so the idea here is we have five rolling stock, which should give us 60 a car, hopefully, with logs, is going to be the idea, so, free track, you are highball, sir. Or express? No, I don't know. I don't know what they term it. Actually, I shouldn't say that. A lot of railroad terms. They hear them all the time. I really, honestly, don't know what they all are. So, I mean, I don't know what the difference between highball and express is. I would assume well, express means no stop. Yes, express is from here to there, real quick, and a highball is actually a signal. Early, early, early train signals 
had a ball on a rope. And right. when it was time to go, they pulled the ball up, and that was a high ball. Right, wasn't that like giving them clearance for like a section of track or something? Yeah. Like, didn't they pass it between sections of track? Like, that was like a original, I don't know, collision avoidance system or something? It was... <laughs> I guess that's about that as much as I know about it, but... There wasn't a lot of collision avoidance in the very, very early days. Right. Yeah, the rails were definitely sketchy back in the day, boy. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> Incident rates were high. But I suppose you used to have how many different time zones and how many everything else. So what time is the train running on? Who knows? Isn't that why they actually uh, standardized time zones or something anyway? It was because of the trains. Oh, exactly. hang on. Uh-oh. We might have to flip some switches. Yep. This switch is wrong. Shoot. Yeah, I got it. Some of these dead-end switches, I totally didn't check or anything. I just laid everything. Um, not checked. Sorry. That's horrible. I don't think I even put a telegraph thing out at the uh, out at the logging camp. Actually, okay, now we should be good. I think all the dead ends, future line terminals, or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> are safe. But I didn't put any bumpers on anything. Those are all going to be for future go somewheres, which. You know, trying to plan ahead a little bit. Wow. Betsy really does sound like it's going 100 miles an hour, doesn't it? Yep, yep, definitely. But then I suppose, don't you get like, what, four? Is it four chuffs per revolution, or how does that work? Two, two yep. chuffs per revolution, or per stroke, right? Right. So, yeah. So, sure. I mean, I suppose if it's chuffing like four times every time the wheel goes around, that probably is is a lot. So this, we should just be able to run right through and around everything. We shouldn't have to do anything. If everything worked right. <laughs> I do say if. Because I am not certain. Well, this part's a little sharp. I could probably loosen this up a bit. It does not need to be this tight, but I figure this is all really logging area. So, you know, logging trains are supposed to be for this kind of stuff. And now we Stop. should be pretty good. Go ahead. Oh. Some logging trains, they had sort of U-shaped wheels, and they just ran them on logs. You know, I've seen pictures of those. Obviously never seen one. I have seen pictures of them. That's, that's absolutely uh, crazy. I mean, could you imagine if we were trying to run down log tracks? That'd be something. There's future DLC for you someday, huh? <laughs> <laughs> The logging run for real. Yeah, so this one here just went with the, uh, did put a little bit of wall in here. Not exactly sure why. It's high, you know, whatever. The groundwork I just didn't like how it looked, so. Try to keep most of this as flat as possible, but except the, the end. The end of this obviously going up is where the restrictions come off, so it's going to be interesting to see. I think we ended up at like four and a half percent, four four and a half percent, depending on which side we end up going up. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how uh, Betsy handles it. Don't really know if this is gonna, if it's gonna make it or not. I really hope so because it'd be nice to do 300 per load. I guess is kind of the idea. At least then it's not a forever grind to make money because we're definitely going to need some bigger locomotives. <laughs> Fast. This layout is not going to be for, you know, little locomotives doing, 
do in low grades. That's for sure. All right, so we're gonna go up the steep side. That's good. Seems weird because the other side looks like it's steep at this point, but this side's actually probably steeper. But I kept the groundwork low and I didn't do anything else, so we'll have to see. That's not a good sign. And I'm assuming you're a full fire. And everything else. Just moved to 100% now. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> you were an at 100 when you hit the hill? <laughs> All right. You were uh, at 70. All right. Well, that's good, because then that leaves a little extra in the bank. I like it. All right. I like it. We made it. We made it. Oh, sure enough. We made it. That's cool. All right. Good deal. So the first crisis area is averted. That's good. All right. That means we can get underway. That's all we need to do. Because, you know, whatever. I think the plan will be to put a Heisler on this route as soon as possible. And then it's not going to be an issue. Oh, trees. Some of these. Uh-oh. Trees. Ah! We didn't clear the tree. Look, it's a brand new layout, Crumbit. I'm so sorry. No worries. Okay. I'll clear the trees. I'll put the train back together. That sounds cool. I'm so sorry. It's, oh, I did so well with the rest of it. The trees were so nice and pushed out. This part, I suppose, because I got going down the hill and never came back. <laughs> oh. That's okay. First collision, get that out of the way. That was smooth sailing. Unbelievable. Well, get an F on the building quality. That's for sure. Although I gotta say, every, I, what? Go ahead. Every everybody gets one. Yeah, right. That was. I mean, the rest of it is working. Okay, so a couple of trees. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's... Incomplete work. That's what that is. That's an incomplete grade. A little train humor there. Grade. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ah! Okay. We'll pin, blink. What do we get in here? Sharp curved rail, re-rail problem, huh? Let me see yes. what I can get. Let me see. You gonna, you gonna work with me anywhere in here? There we go. Pin and link. Oh, I'll take this one out. There we go. You're good. Okay, break is off there. Break is on here. Link and pin clear to push back. There we go. Those trucks are all over the joint because it's on a curve. Train does not like it. We are good to go, sir. Nice. There we go. Full of firsts in this one. I do like that chuff on Betsy. Do you have to admit? That's such an improvement in the game. I mean, right there. That looks proper. Little locomotive doing little things. It's very three foot. I like it. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. We're going nuts with this one. Should be pretty good to come around now. Of course, you know. I know you've heard that before. Ha <laughs> It's, uh... I actually really didn't... I didn't mean to forget the trees. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Look it. We're full of logs. 
Cut down at least a hundred trees on the way out here. That's for f fair. Uh, yeah. Good looking train coming in though. This is kind of a cool shot from the depot. Or from the... I don't know. It's not a train station I guess per se. Or maybe it is. What is it? Probably is a train station. Why else would it be yeah. like doors to the rail like that? Uh huh. For like uh, yard, oh. right? Yard Work. office. Right, like for workers and stuff. Makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Guess I never really considered the buildings out here, like what they all are actually. You know, what they are. Should kind of go about it. It's true. Auto crane time. So that's cool. Still do like that. <clears throat> Though I wouldn't complain if it was a full load at one time. That's for sure. Gives you time to get a drink, though. And uh, <laughs> stay hydrated. That's good. This train's only five cars, so I don't think I'm gonna turn around and like, you know, a lot of times they just edit out like loading. This isn't really that super long, so hopefully these just kinda kick into gear. Of course as I'm just running around now. But I do have to say even just time to run around is better than hitting the crane over and over and over again. I don't know how you feel about the auto cranes, but I like them pretty good. It seems like it takes a shorter time. Yeah, that's probably true. Good pull forward. Say number one. <clears throat> this could get a little saucy on the downhill. Just fair warning. You know. <laughs> Not that you wouldn't know that, but this, uh, you know, I have 4%. Oh, uh, could get a little saucy. <laughs> All I'm saying, I think it's going to be pretty smooth, and there shouldn't be any trees in the way. There we go. Nice. I guess that's why I always run six cars, probably, is because you have to pull forward and do the load anyway, but I don't know if it would you think it would pull six empties up i mean you were in the cab <laughs> i think it would do six empties that's not that much weight yeah it's just another like what eight nine thousand pounds or something mm -hmm. so if you were at 70 when you hit the bottom of the hill if we added one more car probably get away with it yes okay well then we'll probably look to do that as you know we only got 800 bucks left after buying cars so yeah and then for people who are going to wonder what the car is colors so what we turned around and did is every car is numbered but it just has the number of the paint scheme on it is what it does so that's paint scheme one two three and four is what we did so in case anybody's wondering and this one being the stock unlabeled yeah there we go clear forward number one one I still absolutely love that cracking of the wood i don't know what it is but every time you hear the tree fall down out here like as many times as i've heard it you'd think i'd be sick of it but i'm not <laughs> i i really like that in the game it gives it just this feel out here here we go crane is kicking swing it It's too bad you don't randomly see some trees fall down out here. 
You know what I mean? Like, they should, out here, trees should almost randomly when <coughs> fall down every now and then when that thing goes. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. That would be nice. That would be nice ambience. Actually, speaking of ambience, so I was building the other day near the waterfall, near the smelter. I happened to notice that I could hear wildlife, birds singing and stuff. Yeah, wait, yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. That's that, that over in that one corner, you totally can. That's Yeah, there's birds over there, man. That Only in that one section of the map, at least, that I've noticed. And I don't know about elsewhere. But I know in that one section, yeah, there's the birds. It's absolutely crazy. Because it's like we've always said, you know, you should hear more noises in the background. And that noise should be, like, everywhere in the map, if you ask me. I don't know why it's only in one area, because it really should be everywhere. Or something similar. Perfect. Looks like we are loaded and ready to roll, sir. Alrighty, let's get this train moving. Break is off. How the switches work now. We came up that way. Does that mean we'll go back that way? I don't really know. Can I ride on the front of Betsy anywhere? Not really, huh? No. Uh oh. Okay. But if you stand in the front of the car, you can see Whoa. what's ahead of me. How come you're derailing? I don't know. Uh -oh. Put the brakes on. That's not good. Uh, I guess we're going for a ride. Uh oh. I'll get Betsy back on the track and uh, chase you. Let's see if I can get this thing to stop. I think I can get it stopped. Yeah, we should be able to put Betsy up front. I wonder if that was just a product of it wasn't really real. We should be able to throw it up front though. Or if that's because... It shouldn't be because the turn is too sharp. I'm like 35, there's no way. The turn on the other side is sharper. <clears throat> well, it's going to have to cause one, more than one derailment before, because we de derailed on the way in there. So who knows if we were properly railed, railed or not the whole time. Hard telling. Blinked and pinned. Clear for the comeback. And we'll start getting rid of some brakes here. That brake's off. That brake is off. No brakes in there. These cars are all in kind of funny, funny alignment. I guess I didn't really pay much attention to that when I was flinging them on those on the rail. I should have. All right, now we're free. It's the free bird. Huh. Just trying to figure out the way back. I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest. We can run through the track whichever way it goes, it goes. There we go. Alright, we made it through that, sort of, more or less. Not really. We crashed, actually. And then this, I guess it doesn't really actually matter which way we go, because either way is just totally fine. But if I flip this, we'll have a chance to actually go see all of the track. Instead of just part of the track. Let me up. There we go. Should be good to go. <clears throat> How come you're dying? I, oh, oh, I know. The oh. reverser's in the wrong position. We were braking, not accelerating. Right, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that, that will affect the um, forward momentum 
of the locomotive. I think. I wonder if I can lean out when I'm back here. Yeah, sure I can. That's funny. I can lean around the smoke. <laughs> There you go, though. So all this, actually, I got this all to be level. There's no, like, grade in here at all. It's level. Everything except, the, obviously, the sharp up and down there at the end. You know, out by the camp. But all the rest of this is all totally level. No up, no down. It's pretty happy with that. Look at Betsy still bounce around. Just the way it pulls on the rail, that thing. But then I suppose it's a fair amount of weight behind what's a pretty lightweight locomotive. Yes. So. And the 040 hunts a lot. Right. This one's going to get switched over to a Heisler, I'm pretty sure. It's a bit of overkill when it comes for logs. But at the end of the day, then you're just done with it, too. So I think that's going to be the order of the day. Do you like the smoke? Even though there is this place where the smoke just disappears, which doesn't really quite make sense, but that's okay. It's better than not having it. I like the smoke. Good addition. Rock on. There we go. It made it. It made it, sort of, more or less. <laughs> one tree and one little spill is not the end of the world. That's why we like the porter. It's easy to pick up. <laughs> it's only one piece. That's right. That's why when anybody wonders, why do you start the game with a porter? That's why. It's easy to clean up. Looks good, though. Honestly. It's a pretty cool looking little train right there. With the trees. That's actually a pretty nice shot. I like that. Pretty good. Betsy rolling by. Boom, boom. All right, stop train fanning and go dump the cargo or something. It's kind of funny. Game does look good though. I have to admit, still does. It's a good looking game. If you like trains and whatnot. Nice little bit of smoke rolling out. Pretty cool. Guess you don't really need to be at the end. End. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. The nice thing is this one: we don't have to stop, don't have to switch locomotives, don't have to anything. Just run the loads. Too many loads to fiddle. At the end of the day, there we go. Boom. All right. So with that one, there you go. 30 logs in. Of course, it's going to eat them up and start stocking up the mill, but that's what we got to do. A little bit of money on the side. Back over a 1,000 gets us going in the right direction. So with that one, I think we'll call it a win. Say thanks, Crummit. Much appreciate the driving. My pleasure. All right, good, sir. With that, there's the win. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you get a chance, like, share, subscribe. Subscriptions are free, but they sure do help the channel. Y'all have a good day.